morning guys so it is Tuesday no that's not right today's Monday oh I was so tired last night when I got back from Chicago um I think yesterday's vlog clip left off at me basically just showing you guys us in bed watching MasterChef Junior with the kids I fell asleep like during that like I probably have to watch the end because I don't know who got kicked off I was so tired. I slept 17 hours last night. Um, I fell asleep at like 6 and then John didn't have to leave for- he actually didn't think he'd get called out at all, which he didn't. He needs a- he needed a part for work for the two jobs that he's doing in the next two days. And so he had to go drive uh, like a few hours to go get that part from another coworker. So that's- he, had, he left at like 10 for that because he got notified that he needed to go get that part. So he let me sleep in as long as he could, which was so nice of him because I was so tired. He knew how tired I was because I fell asleep at six. So like that never happens. So as you guys know, um, I've had this question asked a lot, like how I get my vlogging and my cleaning and everything done. I just don't sleep at night. I stay up until everything's done and then I wake up the next morning when the kids wake up and I do it all over again. So I think I needed to catch up on my sleep. So I'm really happy that that worked out that way, but I was so tired last night. But I'm gonna light this pine tree candle that I put up on the put it on the piano, hoping that maybe that will deter the kids. Um, but I'm gonna light that candle. I also need to clean up because there's a lot of junk on this piano that needs to be cleared out. Um, John is excited to get his candle though. Well, I mean, you know, as excited as a man gets over candles, but he really wanted the pine smell in the house. So I'm gonna light that so when he comes home, it'll smell like a real pine tree in the house. Um, I need to take a shower because I haven't showered in like. I don't know, I showered on Saturday, so I guess I wasn't that long, but I feel like I need a shower. Kai is upstairs cuddling in my bed right now. I had to go outside and throw away a poopy diaper because nothing says welcome home like a huge massive load in a kid's diaper. Yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit, and this is what I, I walked into the kitchen and this is what I found. I walked into the kitchen to find this. I don't know who set them up like that, but that's hilarious. They're all attacking the Zarbies bottle for some reason. <laughs> Got some Mickey milks for the little girl. She's in my bed right now. I'm gonna let her cuddle for a little bit in my bed and then I'll put her down for a nap. What are you watching, sweetie? I'm play play game. Oh, you're playing a game? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's your milk. I got you some milk. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, baby. I'm gonna take a shower, is that okay? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, this is gonna gross some of you guys out. But I just have to show you because, okay, so if you watched my vlog last weekend from when Sam was here and she gave me those foot masks a long time ago and I finally used them while she was here, um, she warned me that my feet would start peeling in the next couple days. And my feet didn't make any single change in the next few days until now. So I'm going to show you what these masks do. So look at my feet. They're peeling. Oh my gosh. She warned me that they would peel and... This is what the peeling looks like, but this is like a week later. But like my feet, oh my gosh, like your dead skin peels away, so that way like new skin comes out. Oh, so scary. Anyways, if that creeped any of you guys out, I apologize, but I just thought I would share for any of you who are like, what's the link to those masks? Because forewarning, your feet start appealing. And yeah, that it's just, yeah, that's a forewarning to you that's a habit. That's just like crazy. They're like peeling. Now I have to take a picture and send it to Sam because that's the type of friend I am. <laughs> so I want to show you guys this sweater real quick because I got it from Old Navy during their Black Friday sale. It's so comfortable. And so if you're looking for like a really cute, just like comfy sweater, it's like fleece lined. So it's really nice. This is a size small, even though I usually wear extra small. I thought I'd get a little oversized. But it's got this really cool back to it. Can you see that? It's like a v-necked back in the back. John was like, you're wearing your sweater backwards. I was like, no I'm not. This is how it's supposed to be. But I thought that was really cute. So... I'm just wearing it with some fleece lined leggings, which I really like because they're like kind of flared at the bottom, so they're not super tight at the bottom, and then they have like drawstring. But, anyways, it's a really, I think I got it for, I wanna say I got it for like $8 during the Black Friday sale. So, I don't think it's that expensive because, again, it's old navy, but I just thought this back was cute. It's just a cute back. So, I need to do some wrapping. I need to wrap this thing because she doesn't know that it's sitting here right now even though she's behind me. And these are all the clothes that uh, I got at Once Upon a Child for my friends. I think I'm gonna drop them off to them on Wednesday or they're gonna come over. I don't know, we're gonna get together though and I'll give them to them. And then these are some of the stuff that Lisa sent to my friend who had the preemie. Um, and then I need to put away the rest of the stuff that I packed to take to Lisa's. And then I'm gonna do laundry because I got a lot of laundry. I was gone, even though I don't feel like I was gone that long, with five people and three days of clothing 
in winter, that adds up. But good news, John's been using the basket. And again, my apologies for showing you my gross peeling feet. I just wanted to show you guys what those foot masks did. And also probably tell you that it's good if you're gonna do them. It's good to do them in the winter when you're not gonna be wearing sandals or flip flops for any reason, cause ain't nobody wanna see that. Mm -mm. Even though I just showed you guys. I walked out of my room cause I need to get the vacuum since my feet are peeling everywhere and it's gross. And I got hit in the face with pine smell from that candle. So the pine candle is working, but yeah, I need a vacuum because there's now like dead foot skin everywhere. Again, super unappealing, but I just wanted to show you guys. All right, let's put Kaya down for her nap. Oh, you're already in your bed waiting. We gotta fix this leaf. We gotta fix that leaf. Kevin and I kiss. I love you. Hugs. Hugs? Oh. No kiss. No kiss? Okay. Just one hug, one kiss. Put your blanket on. No, no hug. No hug. I love you. Love you. Night night. Oh, this leaf. And the, and the blankets. You want two blankets? Two blankets. Okay. You're welcome. Night night. So now I need to take these books put them in the gift room. That's what I call the guest room because that's where all of our gifts are hiding. And then also the bags that are downstairs. Sam's gifts arrived so I need to unpackage them. And Monkey's gifts arrived. Yeah. That room is just full of stuff. So take this upstairs. It's kind of where we've been wrapping gifts too. So all upstairs and then I'll wrap it and box them and everything. So, so these are all the gifts I still need to wrap and stuff. Um, those boxes look huge but there's nothing big in them. Amazon for some reason ships stuff in huge boxes. And these are all the kids gifts from us and from Sam's family. So I need to put those underneath the tree. I don't know, I'm kind of, after I was watching Sam's video, I want to put my gifts underneath the tree. Like, ever since I wrapped them, I'm like, I want them under this tree, because I want like them to look nice and pretty, and I love the look of like having the Christmas presents underneath the tree, but at the same time, I don't want the kids to like ruin them, but also on the same at the same time, I want them to learn patience. So it's like, I want to give them the chance to understand like you need to wait to open these. So I'm gonna talk to John when he gets home and maybe we'll put them underneath this weekend because then that gives like a week of, until Christmas. <sighs> but I need to, oh. oh, I just walked into the camera. Are you okay? Yeah. So I need to finish wrapping all those gifts and stuff though. Um, Wyatt and I are gonna go downstairs and watch a movie together and cuddle. For some reason this kid loves his hummus and pretzel chips. Is that your favorite snack, bud? Yeah. Yeah? Is it good? So he's gonna get those. I have my computer stuff set up so that I can answer back to some of your guys' comments while I watch a movie with him. And I'm gonna go reheat up my dinner from last night. I didn't eat that much of my Chipotle because I was so tired even though I was so hungry. I was so tired that that outweighed my hunger. So I'm gonna reheat that up and eat it, and then we're gonna watch a Christmas movie. I don't know which one, but just one that we wouldn't usually watch with Kaya since she's sleeping. And then Kaya will wake up and we'll have lunch. I just started some laundry. I have my Dr. Better. Whoops, there you go. My you guys, comment back to you guys. I'm gonna drink this bottle of water because it was $5 from the airport and I refuse to waste it. Look at that, that thing, $5, are you kidding me? I got my little personal size bag of Angie's popcorn, which I got from Ingrid. She's somebody I met online and then in person and we had coffee with and she was so nice and brought me a bag of those. And then my friend Kelly that I went to high school with, who watches my videos, hi Kelly, she uh, came over and surprised me with some bags as well. So I was so excited because I just had opened up my last bag that I could find. And then I have my little cookies, they're kind of smashed. These are the cookies that Sunny brought. She brought me a co these cookies and then a gluten-free cupcake from this amazing gluten-free bakery from Gen in Geneva, I think. Oh my gosh, seriously best red velvet cupcake I've ever tasted. I would honestly say they're better than Georgetown cupcakes. They were so good, so thank you so much, Sunny. I ate that when I was at Lisa's house. Oh, it was so good. So I have all of my snacks and stuff and Wyatt's sitting on the couch next to me and we are gonna watch a movie now. I totally fell asleep with Kaya on the Lazy Boy. 
don't feel well. You what? I don't feel well. What's wrong? You I seem like know. you're really white. I just am really lethargic. I don't know if it's because of the trip or my endo or you just both. the weather or yeah. Oh. Smells like pine in here. Okay, I'm sick. Do you like the smell of pine? It's almost too much. Like it smacks me in the face every single time I walk downstairs. Do you mm -hmm. like it? Yes, no? I like you. <laughs> oh, hey, how do you feel about putting the Christmas presents downstairs underneath the Christmas tree? Hmm? I said, how do you feel about putting the Christmas presents underneath the Christmas tree? Where have you tree? been? I've been in Chicago. My mom, my mom would get really mad at us. And then she would be like, well, you're not going to know your surprise now. <laughs> And then I would feel bad after, but I wanted it before. <laughs> and then I would feel bad afterwards. But don't you think it's worth? But I wanted to know what it was but, so bad. But eventually, you learn patience of like Do you? waiting. Do I you? did. I don't have any patience for presents. Maybe that's, I want them right maybe that's now. because your mom has not <laughs> punish you enough. What do you want to do? I don't know, it's just so much fun seeing them underneath the tree. Well, let's explain it to these children. Wyatt got it pretty well. We were downstairs. and said, "Hey, mommy, mommy, I want, I want, I want this for Chris." I said, "I said, Wyatt, we already got your presents, and they're upstairs. So that's what you're getting. So you can't add anything to the list now." And he goes, "Oh, okay." So I mean, he understood that much. Mm -hmm. Party on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Why did you put new pajamas on? She wanted, you know, <laughs> she wanted new pajamas on. Oh. Do you miss me? <laughs> oh no, please don't do that. Mommy's tummy's been hurting. <laughs> you can be on me, you just can't put your little nubby knees in my crotchy area. Oh, John, check out my feet. Yeah, you got socks on. No, take my sock off. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. What are you doing? Ew. <laughs> what? They're peeling. You remember I did those foot masks and Lee and Sam was like, beware, they're gonna- Don't do that to tickle. Oh, it's not a crush. <laughs> okay, stop it. First off, that hurts my leg. Anyways, yeah, so you remember Sam said that my feet were gonna peel? Yeah, they definitely peeled like a week later. Anyways, we're gonna have this conversation about whether or not we put the gifts under the tree. What do you guys think? Will it happen? I think someone had a good suggestion. Who? They said just wrap a bunch of empty boxes <laughs> and put them under the tree and then you don't have to worry about it. That's true. But then that's, that's a, waste a waste of wrapping. Of wrapping paper, Unless right? you use the same ones every year. Same <laughs> I got it! Hey Kai, if we put the, tr the gifts underneath the tree, are you gonna open them? No, you're not gonna open them. We're gonna wait till Christmas. Can you wait till Christmas to open them? Nope. Yes, yes, yes. Which one is it? Yes or no? Green. Green. <laughs> and blue. And blue. And blue and orange. Oh yeah. Wait, is it yes or no? Green. Green. <laughs> and green. Hey, who's in your hands? Who do you have? Princesses. What princesses? Which princesses are do you have? Pink and, and purple. They're no, pink. it's Snow White and Rapunzel. Or no, Snow White and Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> that's that's Sleeping Beauty. Just spit my eye. <laughs> so we just had a very serious conversation with Wyatt and Kaya about the Christmas presents. They said that they can refrain from opening them. And John made a good suggestion. He's gonna set up our camera. We have like a, it's kind of like a drop cam, which um, basically you set it up and then you can see um, what's going on in whatever room you set it up in or hear stuff on your computer or iPhone. So John's gonna set it up on our piano facing the tree and the door because it's kind of nice to be able to see if anybody's coming in your house or whatever. And that way it'll be the gift camera tree or the gift camera to see and make sure nobody's touching any of the gifts. And you can watch your I already said that. So um 
what I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do is I told Wyatt and Kaya that if I find them touching or playing or trying to get into their gifts before Christmas, all those gifts are going in that box that we dropped off the donation toys to, and they're not gonna get them. And that really set why his look on his face was like, no. So it's a win-win because either they play with the toys and then another kid gets a great Christmas or they don't and we see how that goes. So I'm going to take the gifts down. I want to clear them out of here just because I'm not, I don't think that I'm watching or nannying the kids this month for the rest of the month, but I need to really re-verify that with their mom because she kind of, I guess, had some mandatory meetings last week. So um, they're all in the packing play, as you can see, so I need to get them out of here. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I want to get them underneath the tree. The other reason is just because I just, I don't know, I think it's good to teach kids patience. My parents, that's how we learned how to be patient about Christmas, was we just knew you're not allowed to touch the gifts until Christmas. That's how you learn, you know? So I think all of my kids are at that age where they kind of get it, and I know that Kaya will follow Wyatt's example, and if Wyatt's scared out of his tar that we're gonna give away his gifts, then I think that'll keep him from touching them. So we're gonna take the gifts down. You listening to the music? <laughs> so there they are. Those are just our gifts to the kids. I need to put my parents' gifts that I need to wrap under there. And then I know there's gifts from Lisa and Bill coming in the mail, so those will go underneath there as well. And Ava's gift still needs to be wrapped and put underneath there, so there's still room. You can't reach your snow globe? Yeah. So for everyone asking if we got our shirts or if John got his commemorative shirt from the Apple store when we went for the opening, we did. They came in these fun boxes. I haven't opened mine yet. Sam opened hers. They're black. I don't know if John will open his or if this is one of those things that you like keep the seal closed forever and you just like have them sitting somewhere. I don't know. Apple freaks are weird. So there you have it. I'm going to let you guys go because I have some gift wrapping I need to do for people that watch these videos. And I, like I said, I'm not, I don't feel sick. I just feel very lethargic right now. And it's just from traveling. I get this way every single time I travel. I've had two really big weekends in a row. And I need to regain my energy because the next two weekends are going to be busy, busy. And I do think I might be, I don't know, I think it's just my endo kicking in. Just my lethargic, whatever. It's like John said, this is how I always get with my endo and traveling at the same time. Is I get really lethargic. Um, and just my appetite leaves and just I'm a little crampy so nothing big no big deal I'm not worried but I'm gonna take this time with John home and take advantage of it and rest when he tells me to rest because not often does that happen I'm very lucky that I have such an amazing husband who just you know worries about me just as much as I worry about me so yeah um so I'm gonna let you guys go so I can get some stuff done and hang out with this little gooby some more you found your Cinderella she plucked that thing right off the tree because I just put that back on the tree. <laughs> so we're going to let you guys go. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Say Merry Christmas. we got to start practicing. Can you say Merry Christmas? Oh, my mom and dad said that all the little kids in the church sang Away in the Manger while they're up on the, like, they all went up to the front of the stage on the church and sang Away in the Manger. And apparently Wyatt was trying to distract another kid the entire time, and Kaya just stood up there with her finger up her nose the entire time. So... Lovely, right? That's my kids for you. So we're going to let you guys go and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. It's fucking my tomorrow, Bunny. It's spinning? Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.